Hey, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Spike's Picks. Now, I was browsing Facebook the other day and my local comic book shop, Titan Comics, usually uh, advertises their new releases, the pieces they just acquired. And the other day they had a lot of Dragon Ball statues that had just came in. So, one of them in particular caught my attention. And the very next day I drove to Titan and picked it up. I just could not resist. One of my favorite character designs in all of Dragon Ball has always been Gotenks. So I picked up the Grandista Gotenks Resolution of Soldiers statue. Now I'm super hyped on this because they usually display them uh, out of box. And I didn't know it was a Grandista figure to begin with. But once I found out and was handed the box so I could go check out, I was pleasantly surprised that it was a Grandista figure. And it kind of made sense as to why it looked so badass. So uh, today I'm going to unbox this for you guys because I'm super hyped and I want to display it back there with the rest of my statues. I'll show you guys later. Uh, so let's do it. Couldn't wait another day. Let's, let's open this up now. Alright, got the good old multi-tool right here. Just uh, a little bit of tape in our way between us and the statues. So, yep. Alright, cut it open. I don't remember, it's been a while since I've gotten a Grandista figure. I don't know if it comes in sections or not, or if it comes as one solid piece. But I guess we're about to find out. More tape, and yeah, it comes in uh, a couple pieces. Nothing too crazy though, nothing that we can't build. Alright, box goes down here. Other piece of the box goes down there as well. More tape, there's always so much tape. All right, here we go. Oh, wow. I honestly did not know about this little detail in this figure. I was kind of wondering t why it showed the base form Gotenks on the one side and the Super Saiyan Gotenks on the other side. I thought it was just a box design, but turns out that the figure comes with two separate heads. Look at that. Comes with the base Gotenks head and the Super Saiyan one as well. That is super fucking dope. Alright, let's get to building this bad boy. Right, the one thing that always worries me about these statues is the, the base, the bases. It's a little light, a little lighter than I thought he was going to be to be completely honest, but that's okay. I can work with that. Now, uh, like I said, my worry is usually the uh, base of these figures because some of them do come with these little blocks that attach to their feet, but they're not very reliable. But let's hope this one is. It's kind of light on the lighter side, so it shouldn't be an issue. So, all right, boom. Mm, or is it this one? That was definitely this one. Next up. We're going to attach his little belt. So this goes here like this. Belt attached. Looking real fly there. Next, uh, we'll try the variety of heads. Let's go with base form first because it makes the most sense. So let's go with base form. Go tanks right there. Little, little. In all his glory. Super. The detail is really nice. The head has a lot of... A little bit more weight to it than the torso does. The torso weighs next to nothing. But yeah, loving the design. Let's just pop his head right on there. Bam. Base form go tanks. Looking real spiffy if I do say so myself. I like this statue a lot. Now uh, let's try on the Super Saiyan head. Go tanks is one of those characters that I've always felt is very underutilized. He always. He's always kind of like the butt of a joke. They never really take him too seriously, even though he was stupid powerful in Dragon Ball Z. But they never really took him too serious, and that's that's a shame because he's because he's a character with a ton of potential. But yeah, there you have it. That is the Super Saiyan head right there. Giving him the thumbs up. I'm digging this a lot. I really like it. Now let's get some frou frou close up shots, shall we? Let's go. All 
right guys, well there you have it. The Grandista Gotenks statue with the interchangeable heads. That was a nice surprise. I did not expect for it to have separate heads, but that was a nice surprise. Uh, my favorite has to be base form Gotenks. That just, look at them, the character design, the hair. Just awesome. That's my favorite right there. So I'm probably going to switch this out and uh, display it with the base head. Overall, I'm satisfied with it. It's a little lighter than I thought it was going to be. The head has some good weight, but my gripe with almost every Dragon Ball statue that I own, except for maybe King Cluster Broly, that one was passable, but it's these damn stands. These flimsy little stands that never really like click or... Uh, never really mold the figure like they I wish they would come up with a better solution to like maybe where it clicks and it clicks on tight but yeah thanks again guys for tuning in to another episode of Spike's Picks please like comment and subscribe hit the little bell so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video stay tuned for more geeky content and food reviews and vlogs and everything in between uh, we're almost at 2,000 subs. Once I hit 2,000 subs, there will be a massive giveaway like I've been saying. So let's bump up those numbers, share this video, subscribe, like, do all the things. See you guys in the next one. Peace.